Okay guys, we're going to talk about these bikes right here. I got them all either on Marketplace or Craigslist. And um, before you buy a bike at Walmart, you should really check Marketplace and Craigslist out. Um, if anybody can take a guess on how much I paid for all of these, um, I'll, t I'll let you know at the end. But um, we're going to go through them a little bit. So first is this kink curb. It's 2017. It's uh, pretty decent. It's a little bit beat up. But for what I'm going to use it for, it works fine. So then we got the, a 2013 Haro 200.1. This bike's pretty nice too. It's not that beat up. Um, big bulge in the back tire. I just put this tire on and I misread the side. I thought it was a 90 pound, so I put 90 in it, but obviously couldn't handle that. It's only a 60 pound. Um, so yeah, that bike's pretty good too. Then this bike is a 2016 Haro Downtown. This one I paid the most for. It's the first one I bought. Uh, this bike's pretty good. It's got a little bit aftermarket parts on it. And then we're going to go to this one. It's a 2016. Sabrosa. Um, this bike I got a steal of a deal on. Pretty much all of them I did though, but this bike this bike's pretty nice. It's nice and smooth and works pretty good. So then my favorite out of these is this. It's a 2013 Fit Inman One bike was brand new when I bought it. It had only been rode twice. And this thing is so smooth. It sounds good. Rolls so smooth. And all that. But anyway, I would encourage people to buy used bikes instead of a Walmart bike because these are a lot higher quality than the Walmart stuff and I can actually get these cheaper than buying a new Walmart bike except for this one right here that one I paid the most for but these are just my favorite five out of all of them I've bought I bought probably 12 or 15 of them some of them I've been using for parts and some of them I just ride right around. But let's talk about how much I paid for them. So, this kink curb right here, when I went and got it, the um, person wanted 80 bucks for it. So, when I got there, what you need to do is, for one, if you're going to be a seller, clean the stuff up make it look pretty that's that's a big thing to some people so it was all dirty and stuff like that and then the rear hub was loose so I pointed that out and then it's missing a brake pad and then um, it also had a flat tire which that's no big deal but, if you're trying to sell it, why not spend $2 and put a new tube in? So, ended up, this person wanted 80 bucks for it. I ended up getting it for 15 Because I pointed out the stuff that was wrong with it. So then, this bike is pretty much brand new when I got it. This Harl. 
And like I said, I just put this back tire on and it's got a big bulge in it. But it had the La Mesa rear tire when I got it. But anyway, this bike was pretty much brand new when I bought it. And there was nothing really wrong with it. And I got it for $20. So then this blue Haro downtown, I paid the most for. This guy, when I bought this, he wanted $250 for it. I ended up getting it for $100. Because uh, it was winter time when I ended up buying it. So nobody was really in the market for a bike. And pretty much all of these I bought out of season. If you wait till like the winter time or whatever, there's really no market. Nobody's really buying bikes. So you can get a good deal on them. So I ended up paying 100 bucks for that. Same with this Sabrosa. This bike is a little bit beat up. Mostly just paint and stuff. It has all kinds of scratches and crap like that on it. But, um, ended up driving 45 minutes to go and get it. And the guy was really cool. He was, he ended up selling it to me for 20 bucks. So, picked that up for 20 bucks. And my favorite out of all of them is this fit. And this thing was brand new when I bought it. There wasn't a scratch on it. The bar ends weren't scuffed up. Nothing was wrong with it. And this thing is just so smooth. And uh, ended up, I got this from an old guy. It was his son's bike. And he didn't know nothing about it. His son just had moved out and left it in his garage. So, I got this one for $20 also, which is a freaking steal of a deal. But, all of the bikes I've bought, and I've bought like 15 bikes in the last few months, all off a of Marketplace or Craigslist. And uh, it's spring now. I bought them mostly in the winter time. But all of them except for this blue one right here. I paid $20 and under for. And this blue one I paid 100 bucks for. But. So if you're going to buy a Walmart bike. Or if you're just starting out. I would really suggest. Checking out Craigslist or Marketplace. You can find some nice stuff that's gonna last you a little bit longer than a Walmart bike so all together here we have hundred dollars 20 15 20 and 20 so I got five bikes for hundred and seventy five dollars that's pretty awesome Alrighty.